Hello folks, um, I'm going to start uh, a short series on flourishes. It's going to take up a few videos and uh, the first flourish that I'm going to teach is all about fans because there's a lot of different types of fans out there and pretty much anywhere you go it's probably going to be the first thing you find. So I'm going to teach you about fans, how to fan the cards and make it look kind of fancy. Um, the first one would be, I guess, people people start doing this. You'll probably start doing this. And then uh, I actually remember when I first got into Magic, that's obviously how I started doing it because really you don't know any other way. And then uh, by the time I was doing that fairly smooth, like I don't know when I started it was kind of more like this. You know, it didn't really look very nice. And then I kind of started getting a little smoother and I was like, here, whatever. And when I started doing that, or when I had that good, another one of my friends, he was doing some sort of fancy thing where he held the cards and then brushed his hand underneath. And honestly, before he did it, I've never seen it before. It was pretty much just a one-handed fan, except uh, he rested the cards on his other hand when he did it. And he, he made that look really good. And by the time I got that one down, uh, he was doing the thumb fan. And then I was jealous of him for that, and then by the time I was doing that, he was doing the pressure fan, etc., etc. Anyway, so the thumb fan is a good place to start, and how you do this is you want to hold your fingers in a very certain position. Uh, normally, if you're right-handed, you'll do it with the cards in your left hand. I'm always backwards on this one, but I'll try and teach it the proper way. Uh, you hold... Let's see, I just want to get the handling down for this. Okay. You hold with your index finger and middle finger at the bottom edge of the cards. So your middle finger basically is right level with the bottom of the cards. And uh, the tips of your fingers are just past, just past the edges of the cards. Okay, Level with the bottom, just past the edges over here. And then you hold your thumb. <coughs> this is tough. Then you hold your thumb right at the bottom corner, right where your fingers are and uh, just inside from the edge and I don't know just just above the bottom the placements aren't really too particular and this is one of those things where again you might have to hold it differently depending on the size of your hand or uh, just how you like the fan but that's about where I hold it and then uh, you take your thumb of your other hand and you press it right against this edge of the cards where, where your other arm would be so you're kinda of coming at it from the same side okay and you're going to push the cards, this is really hard to do slow by the way, you're going to push the cards like this and uh, because if, you, if you're pinching here it's going to create a pivot point. Okay, The main pivot point is between your index finger and your thumb because they're pinching in approximately the same place and your index finger is just there uh, because it's a little awkward if you go like this. I don't know. Okay, so you're going to keep your fingers in those places. You're going to start pushing with your thumb. Okay, and the cards are going to start spiraling out. And uh, I'll show you from this angle. You're going to keep coming back, keep coming back with your thumb until the cards won't go anymore. It'll probably be about there. And there you'll have your thumb fan. This one looks a little rough because uh, I did it kind of slowly. But if you do it more quickly, it looks something like that. Okay, so you get a, a nice looking fan. That's called the thumb fan. Now, like I said, I usually do this in my opposite hand, and I can do it a little better in that hand. Okay, like that. Uh, just a little note, though. When you do it in your, in your uh, left hand, you hold the cards so they're sticking up from your hand, okay? If you're going to switch that and do it in your left hand, or sorry, in your right hand like I do, you have to do it with the cards at the bottom of your hand cards pointing down and then you have to bring your thumb up like this and the reason being um, actually there's another video on this I believe it was by World's Worst Magician <laughs> that's what he calls himself uh, World's Worst Magician uh, if you do it from the other end if you do it with the cards pointing up you wind up with a whole bunch of cards that don't look like much and that's because you're only seeing this portion of the card Okay, sorry about that, my camera cut out again, but uh, like I was saying, you're only seeing this portion of the card up here where it's where it's uh, just white. 
okay, on every single card, if you've spread cards this way, you, you can't see any of the indexes. So it'll look a little weird if you go like this and uh, you can't see anything. So you got to start at the bottom and work your way up, and then you wind up with all the indexes just like normal. Okay, so that's the thumb fan. And really, there's no tips I can offer on that one. Like I said before, that, that one, I say this about everything, but it really deals a lot with feel. Everything in Card Magic does it. All depends on how you feel the cards and how you hold the cards and what works best for you. So just play around with it, and I'm sure eventually you'll get it and you'll go, wow, okay, now I can do it. So there's the thumb fan. And I think this video, actually I just want to make a comment about that that fan that looks blank, and then that'll have to be it for this video because it's getting a little long. Uh, you can, in effect, show the deck completely blank with a regular deck of cards, and then uh, just with a cut you can show that it goes completely back to normal. And how you do that is pretty self-explanatory considering what I already told you, except if you place the Ace of Diamonds or the Ace of Hearts on the bottom of the deck and then you do what's called the blank fan which is where you fan it in your right hand with the cards pointing up you'll notice that the Ace of Diamonds or Hearts whichever the case may be when you finish the thumb fan it goes directly under your thumb so all you gotta do is hold your thumb over that Ace of Diamonds and they can't see it like most of this card looks blank and then the rest of them look blank unfortunately uh, some some of my cards have, have been signed, so um, when when I do that, you can kind of see the the black marks on this one, and then there's one other one which I actually can't see right now. But so you have to watch for that. If you have any signatures on your deck, then uh, don't do that because it'd be a lot easier to get caught. But that's the blank fence. So so the ace comes directly back underneath your thumb. You reposition it just to make sure your thumb is directly covering it, and then you can show. Hey, look, a completely blank deck of cards and then you gather up the fan and again they still can't see anything because your thumb is covering the ace flip over the deck being careful not to expose it give it a cut and then do a proper thumb fan with the cards pointing down and suddenly the entire deck is back to normal uh... pretty simple and uh, some people do catch on to it but uh... <laughs> for those that don't get it and then you can say well here examine the deck i mean that's kind of intense because there's not one blank card in the deck and they could have sworn at least that bottom one was blank but anyway there's the thumb fan play around with those ideas let me know how it goes for you and uh, there will definitely be more fans and ribbon spreads and springing the cards and fancy cuts and all that sort of stuff coming in the flourishes series so uh, watch for those okay thanks very much for watching